Welcome back to the Daily News. Beaufort recently held its Night on the Town. It's a first annual event for the first weekend in December this year, and we get all the highlights right now. Hey, I'm Joe Keith, and I'm here with Leith Webb. Leith Webb of Loggerhead South. We're here at Night on the Town in Beaufort, South Carolina. Correct. And you do a lot of work for the Loggerhead Sea Turtles on Pritchard's Island. Tell correct. us about us. Tell us about your organization. Well, our organization, we have a, a, a camp down on Pritchard's Island, and it's all about the University of South Carolina doing uh, ecological research down there, loggerhead research, uh, estuary research, and that kind of thing. Okay. And what is the, like, you're doing the research to help find out how many sea turtles we have, or, you know, well, what specifically? Actually, we have a group down there that, that actually does the, uh, they walk up and down the beach, they, they, they dig up the nest, they do DNA, DNA studies on the eggs, they move them, and they hatch them out. Okay. And Pritchard's Island is like one of the last like kind of untouched islands out there, correct? That, that is correct. And is that like a really big breeding ground for the sea turtles Absolutely. because of that? Absolutely. Had a record number of nests there this year. Oh, really? This year? Wow. Well, the nice thing about Pritchard Island is nobody there. There's exactly. no lights. There's no people. So it's a, it's a barrier island owned by the University of South Carolina, and there's no one there. So sea turtles can come and go as they please with no lights and nobody bothering them. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a nice night. How about a bowl of shrimp gravy? <laughs> yeah, I'll take some. Bread, man. And now I'm joined with Stacy and Crystal. And ladies, who are you with? Community Bible Church Soul Patrol Puppet Team. Okay, and tell me a little bit. I used to be a member at CBC. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about the puppet program. So it's been going on for decades, but it's sixth grade through high school. Um, and we do four programs a year. We meet for, our, uh, of course, Christmas. And then we have Easter in April and VBS in June. And we just had Harvest Festival at the beginning of November. Yeah, OK. And Crystal, like, this is the only event that y'all do that isn't on campus. Why do y'all always come back to this event? This is a great outreach for our community. And we would love to have visitors. Yeah, the church does such a great job at being like a part of the community, and I've always admired that about it. And the puppet shows are just so great. Like y'all are so entertaining for the whole festival. Yeah, so. and it's kids to adults. I mean, everybody loves them. So it's a good, fun time for the whole family. Yeah. And they enjoy performing as well. Yeah. Well, thank y'all so much. You're welcome, thank you. Yep. Now I'm joined with Mayor of Beaufort, Stephen Murray, and his daughter, Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. Hey. How are you? Good. 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 All hey, right. Joe Keith. Hey. Merry Christmas, yeah. man. Happy yeah. Night on the Town. Yep. Um, so tell us about Night on the Town. This is one of my favorite events in Beaufort all year. Man, it is one of my favorite events. It has been since I was a, a child. You know, I'm a third generation Beaufortonian, raising the fourth generation here. My girls, um, you know, Night on the Town started with merchants trying to start generating sales during the beginning of the holiday season, a way to give back to the loyal customers and really show some community spirit. So it, it began with the merchants and the business owners on Bay Street kind of opening their doors with drinks and food, real laid back and, and low key. And over the years, it's just evolved into this really tremendous event that brings the whole community together. We've got the Marine Corps band behind us. We've got a bunch of nonprofits out the street making food and crafts. Uh, we're gonna light the Christmas tree in a little while. I'm gonna read Night Before Christmas. Yeah, that's your favorite part, isn't it? It, it is my favorite part. And then I hear a big guy uh, from out of town that has a big red suit maybe flying in to help us light the city Christmas tree. Oh, really? Okay. Do you think that you're on the nice list this year? Yeah. What do you think, Dad? I think she's absolutely on the oh, nice list. Let's go. What's yeah. your favorite part of Night on the Town? I like how the, the, all the pretty lights, and I like when Daddy reads the night before Christmas, and I like how the, when the Christmas tree lighting happens. It's such a fun event. It's my favorite. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, man. Thank yeah. you for having us. And uh, we want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, be nice to everybody. And we hope everybody's on the nice list this year. Yes. All right. And with that, we'll send it back to the desk. Thanks to everybody who joined the show today for their insights and contributions. Thanks to SM Bradford Company and Currents, my wardrobe sponsor for today's look. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.